So now, I'm standing again with my friend Darren, and he asked me again how I am. And I think to myself, I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to tell him. And I say to him, I am terrible. I am terribly alone. I wake up every day afraid. I'm afraid that I'm going mad. And he says, Oh, mate, you should try going to see a therapist. I've been seeing mine for the last two years. It's really helping me out. <laughs> and I'm like, What's that, Jimmy? <laughs> secret. We started to talk and as I started to talk I found allies everywhere. I called my mate Ben and it was four o'clock in the morning and I was freaking the fuck out and he has a really bad cocaine addiction so I knew he'd be up. <laughs> <laughs> Him. And I said, Ben, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm going mental, I'm throwing glasses. Can you help me? And he said to me, mate, I'm so moved that you called me. You know, you've never once called to ask for help. And then, and, and since then we talk every week, pretty much. He's doing quite well. And then I went around the UK with, um, with myself. <laughs> and I met loads of people. I did this thing called the candlelit tour, and, and some people here came to that. And I was basically sharing bits of like diary entries and scribbles and all the songs I've written about fear and winter. And eventually, those became this and became the album. And I talked to hundreds of people about their mental turmoil. And other than giving me a lot of perspective, one thing it did was made me realise that we're all strange creatures. <laughs> we're all strange creatures. And I'm not the only one carrying a fucking cyclone around in my brain. You're not the only one. And uh, let's just, actually, can we just get the house lights up a little bit? Take a look around for a second. Yeah. Look around, guys. These are the people around you. They are humans. Not a single one of us has a fucking clue. Not a single one of us. And in this, at least, we are together. In this, we are together. <laughs>